hello, and namaste. This is Please the Crowd. I'm your host, Justin Penman, and the show that you're about to watch is going to take you on a journey throughout the entire semester. Each show is strapped tightly with a theme, and each theme will teach you as an audience something you need to learn. Like, for instance, today, we are having a theme that is strictly on friendship. So throughout the show, there will be different skits, different forms of media to kind of teach you as an audience about the true meaning of friendship. But that being said, let's put on our work boots on, and we're going to go ahead and watch the intro video. Welcome to Please the Crowd. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just kidding. This is my show. So this is what what's going down today. We've got a couple of great skits for you. We have one coming in from Nebraska about a young boy named Ian and his friend Nick as they go on a journey in college together, guiding each other through friendship and tears. And then we have another interview skit in which I go around the WTOP 10 office asking toppers about what they think friendship means. On top of that, we're breaking down a legendary toppers moment for you today, and we have our guest Daisy Bancroft, the VP of SA, with us. Daisy, you want to say hi, hi to the everyone. audience? Yes. So Daisy, great person, great gal, knows a lot about Thanks. friendship. We're going to first do this a little bit together. I know I didn't tell you about this before the show, but we're going to break down one of the legendary topper moments this past year. So are you ready to get an experience? I think so. All right. So if we start playing this video, it is taken back. Let's pause right there first. Now, Daisy, tell me what you see. I see balloons. Uh-huh. Um, someone hugging somebody or tackling them, maybe. And All right. And some girls in the background. So before we play that, let me just tell you a little bit something. So this is a show called Impractical Improv. And okay. last semester, it was hosted by Amna Sadiq, who is now studying abroad, and Jamie Aronoff, which I think she still attends his school, but is doing <laughs> other things. So fun. the two guests that we see are named Sarah and Brandon, and their goal is to pop a balloon without using their hands, but with using each other's bodies. Wow. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, we see Brandon straddling Sarah very tightly, but they're both bracing, trying to squeeze the life out of this balloon. Let's watch and see how it progresses for a little bit. Now, stop there. <laughs> it doesn't look great, right? No, it doesn't It at does all. not look great. We have Brandon literally on top of Sarah, yes. while Amna and Jamie are clapping this on, yes. and the other two guests, they don't know what to do. No. Let's keep playing this. It can't get any worse, right? probably does. Oh, no. They're grabbing another balloon. That balloon didn't work. <laughs> he oh yanks her. Stop it right there. <laughs> Both of them. She's like, she doesn't get phased by this. No, she's not phased. She, she just goes right up on into it, and Brandon's now ready to take down. Let's see what he does next. <laughs> Let's, and he walks off. Let's get back. Let's get back to seeing us, all right? So, wow. Daisy... Your overall reaction to that video. Let me tell me tell me what you think. If I had to describe it in one word, it would be wow. It looked aggressive. Did you now Very aggressive? Did you sense the friendship that was going on on that I show? I did. That takes a lot of friendship. Now, I want to get a good lesson here for you audience folk out there. So, behind a show, there's a lot of planning. There's a lot of work that goes in to get every small little detail. Amna and Jamie, close friends, put together this great segment and it turned out to be a masterpiece because we saw humans in their natural habitat tackling one another to pop a balloon. <laughs> and if I do say so myself, life doesn't get much better than that. No, it doesn't. I mean, geez louise. 
Here, catch this. So, Daisy, have you ever watched a TOP program on WTOP before? When I was a freshman, yes. All right, what was that program? We Go Live. Ah, We Go Live. Those were the good old days. Wasn't that something? Now, that was a it skit was. show, if you recall. I do. What I kind do of friendship, recall. what kind of friendship did you sense in that kind of program? Some intense friendship. Oh, yeah? yeah? How so? Can you describe, describe to me what went down you, you were actually involved in that show, I, I was believe. involved in We Go Live. What was your role on that show? I just did what they told me to do for the skits. What do you mean you did what they told you to do? They gave me a script, and I did it. <laughs> I had to be very comfortable <laughs> around them. That's a good point. Yeah. So taking it back to that legendary topper moment I showed you, mm -hmm. that was last semester at the, end of the last, at the end of last semester, like the last week of right, productions. Right, right. Now, could you, did you... Do you have any suggestions of what they could have done differently to pop that balloon? Uh, maybe not laid on top. Brandon, is that his name? Yes. Brandon should not have laid on top of Sarah. Why? I feel, I feel like he was taking, <coughs> if the momentum was taking him downward, that was the right thing to do. Right, but Sarah looked very uncomfortable. You're right, and that's <laughs> an important part of friendship. You have to there's, be comfortable. There's got to be comfortable. There's got to be comfortability. Mm -hmm. You've got to get approval from the other person yes. to be their friend. She did not have approval to and be laid on top of. If you're going to pop a balloon together, find another way, because <laughs> that's really the lesson we're learning from this first segment. And I'm going to take it right there. We're going to take break for a little bit, OK? All right. I know we're a little bit short on time, uh, but we'll come back. We'll, come we'll talk back. a little bit more. Friendship? We'll watch, about, we'll watch a little bit more about friendship, about the young boy in Nebraska and his friend Nick. All right. And we'll stay tuned for more. You're watching Please the Crowd. They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. through Thursday, only on WTOP 10. Welcome back to Please the Crowd. I'm Justin Penman, Daisy Bancroft, the SAVP and RA in Fennell. We've got a huge story coming out of Nebraska today, Daisy. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something about this. All right. So there is a college student named Ian, and mm -hmm. he has been struggling in college. That's he sad. made this documentary about how friendship aided his college experience and made it the best time of his life. Now. I'm going to have us go and see this documentary firsthand. All right. I'm ready to be on my own. Everyone used to make fun of me, too, and I could not make any new friends. I was really considering dropping out or even just running away from it all. I thought there was nothing in this world that could turn things around. 
of the story for me. Until one day, one of my friends from back home transferred to my college. Nick, say hi to everyone. <laughs> man, don't let his shy presence fool you. This man is the nation's greatest treasure. A lot of people ask me why Nick is even allowed to attend this university. And I'm like, why? Because he's a non-traditional student? I can't believe we live in such an ageist society where somebody who might be a little bit older can't go to school like a young college student. Jeez. Well, anyways, Nick, he ended up making it, and he's going and he's attending this university. He had to go through a bunch of interviews, and especially one big one with the president of the school. After a long review of your application and various interviews, it's my pleasure to accept you into the State University of New York, University of New York, in Nebraska University. From there on out, it was all downhill for me and my friend Nick. You know, he did such a great job when he got to this school at making friends right away. He even helped me make my first couple of friends. What's up, nerd turd? Who do you know here? Yeah, who invited you to this party? Your mom? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my friend Nick over there invited me to this party. Oh, dude. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry about these two. I had no idea you were close with Nick, man. It's, it's all good. Please don't tell him about this. Like, you and me can be bros. It's, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, what are bros for? Oh, man, I've been really waiting for this moment, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like you guys. You know, Nick just really made life a whole lot better ever since he came here. But needless to say, every friendship has its day, and we definitely had our rough patches too, especially when it came to women. I was in the lab all day today trying to work on my thin section for my class. What's a thin section? So it's grinding down a rock and you make my thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Do you mind if I quickly like, just talk? Sure. Thank you so much. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey. So, I'm just gonna jump into it. I'm kind of nervous, but I never really had the courage. I was wondering if you're willing to, if you want to, like, hang out sometime together. Yeah, I think we totally should. You should bring your friend Nick along, too. At first, I was confused, but soon after, I knew exactly what Becky's true intentions were. Oh, oh Nick, oh, right there. Oh, oh, oh Nick, right there. Ian! Oh my gosh, Nick, how could you do this to me? Oh man! For a while after that, me and Nick started going our separate ways. And clearly things weren't the same for either one of us. For Nick especially, he seemed so distant, so alone. He never even left the room. Our relationship wasn't close to what it was. It was almost like he was, I don't know, two-dimensional or something. Shortly after, we knew we had to get over our differences, and there was only one way around it. Nick had to say goodbye to Becky forever. What? What do you mean you never want to talk to me again? I thought that night that we had together was special. Was I just a one-night stand? I mean, besides that bump in the road, me and Nick's stay at the State University of New York University in Nebraska University has been one to remember. And besides that, now, I have a new girlfriend in my life, and things cannot be any better. I really started to see a new side to myself that I never thought I'd see. Can I tell you something? I'd be lying if I didn't admit that one night with Nick was way more special than anything Ian and I could ever have. Nick just fills my needs in ways that Ian could never imagine. 
sometimes. I think he still does. A absolutely riveting story. Thank you again to Ian, whoever that is, from Nebraska for sending that in. Because, my goodness, I've never been so touched by friendship like that in my life. Positive and they, influence. they really went through the highs and the lows. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Daisy, what were your thoughts on that story? You know, Ian wasn't shown true friendship. He was not. He wasn't shown no, true friendship. No, he wasn't. Why do you say that? Because nobody liked him. They only liked him when they found out he was Nick's friend. That's not true friendship. Mm -mm. I, nope. I know, I know, I know. What you, I hear what you're saying, but <laughs> I don't accept that as an answer. <laughs> Why? So, this is my this is my issue, and this is what I'm going to teach you as an audience and you as an audience about friendship. Here, you gotta you gotta be willing to roll with the punches because sometimes. <clears throat> The friend's gonna bury you in the dirt. You gotta wait for it to hurt. But then, you wait for your growth spurt to get out of the dirt. And then you see true friendship when you come out of the dirt. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit more about. Daisy, as a professional on campus, there's more of the serious side of the show. Now, Daisy is a part of SA, the Student Association, for those who don't know what that acronym stands for. True. She's the vice president, and that is a huge role on campus. She it does is. so much for each club and organization. And on top of that, she's doing for a lot of stuff for the students individually because she is an RA in Fennell. Freddie over here knows. All right, Fred? Oh yeah. Who's Fred? You're you're right. You're so right. I didn't think of that before. Nope. But we're gonna quickly ask you, Daisy. Mm -hmm. Those two roles, yes. so huge. You've been a part for SA for every single year. Practically, you've been at the college. So, sort of. I practically. started sophomore year. Yeah. So practically, practically. three fourths. Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent. That's gonna get you a C. Yeah. So, out of those two positions that you've held, because mm -hmm. you've held a res life position since sophomore year as well, which one do you find to be your favorite position? Oh, wow, that's hard. Um, probably being an RA, I like better. Are you, watch, are you saying that because Butch is watching? No, <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> He's probably not watching. What's, what's, the favorite part, what's your favorite part about being an RA? Um, I get asked this question a lot, Justin, and I have to say my staff because friendship. Made a lot of friends on that staff. I could, I could not, I could not have said it better. Friendship, friendship, friendship. That's a lesson we're learning today. And yes. to go off that question, what kind of friends have you made in SA? Some good ones. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say you've made more friends as an RA or SA or both? Probably as an RA. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely cool. as an RA. Well, thank you, Daisy, for the first part. When we come back from break. I'm asking Daisy some more intense questions while she tries to balance the real struggles of life, if you know what I mean. Stay I tuned don't. to find out. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. What up, it's your man Flo Rodden. Right now, you got it locked at WTOP.
Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. The pressure is too much. I quit. I get it. I can do better. Just please, don't leave. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. Looks like us and us, we go, we'll get a... Stay up to date with the news, events, weather, and sports. Tune in every Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. only on WTOP 10. Welcome back to Please the Crowd. We've got Daisy, we've got an Indo board, I've got a ball, and I'm Justin Penman again. We are going to ask Daisy some questions while she's trying to balance the real struggle of life, the Indo board. The Indo board. So, Daisy, before we get started, I'm going to help you get on this thing All because right. that's a challenge within itself. True. You ready to do this? I think so. Okay, let's do it. Are you ready? No. Are you getting it? Nope. Oh yeah, you got it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Hard pass. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Daisy. What? <laughs> how's life going? You know, it's Let not me. too bad. All right, so first question I got for you. Uh huh. So me and you known each <laughs> other for a Decent amount of time, right? Very long time. Four so years, I'd we've, say. We've been, uh, we've been in a good friend group. Yeah. Which one out of the friend group is your favorite friend? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all going to hate me. Yeah. But you know what? I'm going to say Griffin. Well, you chose the wrong <laughs> one. First question. Ugh. We'll have to get back on. Second question I will come as soon as she gets her balance Griffin. back. I hope Griffin's watching. I hope he is too, because next time I find him, I'm going to spit on him. So, you back on it? Yeah. All right. Maybe. Question number two. Yep. Your favorite friendship memory with the group. Right. What is it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Real Surfing USA. All right. All right. All right. What's your What's your favorite friendship memory? You remember that one time freshman year? No. Oh, we... That one time freshman year. <laughs> no, yeah. One time At freshman camp, year. Yeah, you know. At band camp. <laughs> no. Um, we threw rocks in the lake. Uh -huh. Like a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Okay. And we took a picture. Yeah, that one. What's the reason that stands out to you the most it was out so... of all your friendship memories here at the college? It was just so sentimental, and there's a huge picture in the village that I would like to have. <laughs> this is so unstable, but you know what? I think it's very stable. I think you're the unstable one because that will balance on that no matter what. I'm kidding. You're, you're completely fine. That's difficult. So after the break, I'm going to be on that next. All right. And you get to press me with questions. Whatever you want to know, I'll provide the answer. All right. All right. Stay tuned after the break. Don't worry, the 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Oh, is it my turn? Yes. yes. Oh! 
Checking your fantasy league? Nah, just my 401k statement. Mm, nice. Where'd you find the money for that? I've just been saving a little every month. <laughs> I can't seem to save anything. Well, what about all this? What about the money you're spending? <laughs> what money? It's gone before I can get my hands on it. I got a pizza for a Todd. Hey, can somebody spot me? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. It's 547. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. Hi, I'm Justin Penman. We're going to play a quick interview skit on friendship first, and then Daisy gets the final few questions of the day and gets to pelt me with a ball while I'm on this. Let's watch the skit. Hi, I'm Justin Pemmon, and today we are taking the streets of the office and talking about friendship. We'll find out if we meet anybody. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm the show host, Justin Penman. And I'm going around interviewing toppers, asking them about friendship. We got Chrissy Galvin here. She is our news director. She works here. Tom Lindsay's in the side a little bit. You can kind of see his hand. Yeah, we're moving on. Okay, hi, Chrissy. <laughs> She's a hi. So, so we are uh, we're talking about we're talking about friendship here today, Chrissy. What do you think about friendship? Friendship is the key to a life of happiness. She's just being coy. Now, Chrissy, Chrissy, do you, have you made friends here at WTOP? I'd like to think so. You heard it here first, Chrissy Galvin, our news director. Back to you. Fred here, we're talking business. So, Fred, tell me about friendship. There you have it, coppers on friendship. Next one, welcome back. We got another interview with my new friend here, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about friendship. So can you tell me, tell me about your friends? Um, well, everybody's weird in a certain way. All baseball, if you like your personalities, and if all y'all work together, then you just have a great group of friends. That's the best answer I got all day. High five. Back to you in the studio. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Daisy Bancroft, a big thank you to her for coming out. We hope you learned a little bit something about friendship, and as always, let's please the crowd. <laughs> yeah! Make something, because I think everyone has a spark of creativity, and the reason that I have to keep making is because I don't think my life would be as fulfilling without it. If you make things yourself, that means you're not cowering in fear. You're out there taking chances. That, I think, is my way of saying I love you to the world. All right, now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. Of all the things you've done with your bike, Donating it to Goodwill may be the most incredible of all. Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. And then she was like, yeah, and I was like, no. 